Y'all, she is a woman on a mission to curb the guilt and shame that society places on pregnant teens. Look, I want to be clear with this story. She is not glorifying teen pregnancy, but she wants to address the stigma that comes along with it. Filling a void often overlooked. Here's today's cultured segment. with the bed. Alexandra Horsley is a planner. I plan out every aspect of my life. Like I knew where I would get my master's, where I would get my document, all of that. And part of that plan for the former educator has always been to help young people. Um, I was uh, the safety net for a lot of teen parents. They would come to me and share their stories. On the outside, an education professional encouraging teen moms not to give up. After teaching for so long, I became really ill. I have an autoimmune disease. On the inside, fighting her own battle. So when I was in that place of uncertainty, I started to pray, okay, God, why do you have me here? What do you want me to do? Those conversations led to what she describes as her calling and purpose, the birth of the Lullaby House in this home in the Bishop Arts District. In this home, we can actually hold four moms and four babies. The city of Dallas will only allow you to have eight people in a group home so we can service those children here. The nonprofit meets an immediate need of housing teen moms in foster care. The state of Texas last year had over 600 plus pregnant and parenting teens in care. Dallas has three zip codes with the highest teenage pregnancy rate and we're number one in repeat births. Everybody wants to come in and adopt a baby, but they leave a teen in care. <laughs> With an overwhelmed foster care system, she says simply housing the teens, well, that just wasn't enough. We're strengthening families by keeping them together. How can you help a family when they're separated? We're going to be offering them parenting skills. They're going to be doing life skills. Um, we have a computer room, an educational room. In addition to the at-home program, their community care initiative offers everything from baby items assistance to family planning and even reproductive health. We wanted to be fully equipped to meet a mission that wasn't part of her original plan, but one she says underscores why this work is necessary. We're not impacting one generation to shower. We're in impacting generations to come. Look, she's so passionate about this work and making sure these young people do not feel isolated. In fact, I have a web only interview with one of the young women who has been part of her programs, who does have a support system, but she felt isolated in this situation. The Lullaby House was her outlet and helped her overcome some of the issues that she has been dealing with as a teen mom. I also want to mention that I spoke with Alexandria um, earlier this week and let her know that the story would be airing today. And the Department of Family Protective Services reached out to her and let her know that she is filling a gap. She's one of only three homes in the entire state of Texas mm. um, able to meet this need. And how long do um, new moms usually stay there? Um, so this is a fairly new program mm -hmm. for them. The Lullaby House opens, I believe it's in June, July. They're taking in applications and going through the process, which is a lengthy process to okay. make this happen. Um, and I believe it's about a year or so, but I will have to confirm those numbers with Alexandra. But it's a pretty cool program. Right, but they're able to stay there for, for some yeah, time. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And they help them after they get out of this program as well. Yeah, huge resource and the moms benefit and the kids do absolutely. too. That's uh, good to remember. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Thanks to Cheryl. Mm -hmm.